happy Thanksgiving. Layla! What's that smell? Could be the turkey or my sweet potatoes with cinnamon. Oh, are we all out of waffles again? Girl, we gotta start cooking early on Thanksgiving. Can't we just order takeout? Sarah, bite your tongue. Didn't you do this growing up? When Tina was around, which sure wasn't very often, she wasn't cooking. You will love it. Spending the whole day in the kitchen? Oh. Thanksgiving! Bah humbug. Así es como se dice, see? Happy Thanksgiving. That's right. That's, that's how you say it. Happy Thanksgiving. You look tired. Did, um, did you sleep all right? Well, I kept having nightmares that my mom was going to wake me up at 5 in the morning to help with the pernil. <laughs> well, I'm sure it doesn't help that Lola and I have taken over your bedroom. It's not like you did it on purpose. I mean, the court named me as your guardian until your trial's over. That doesn't mean you have to be happy about it. I'm fine with it. Really. But is Sarah... Am I being a brat? You? No. You're a peach. Well, it's not my fault that the only good thing about this stupid holiday is when those giant balloons get loose. You know what? I'd be ready to pop a few balloons myself if some woman moved in with my man. So why won't you just let me be miserable? Because that's who Christian is. He takes care of people who help him. Yeah. He's a peach. Hi, I'm Nora Hannon. I'm the district attorney. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. We're here to commit this patient, Brody Lovett. Has Mr. Lovett signed the commitment papers? Yes, he has. It's me. <laughs> How are you, honey? Well, okay. Yeah. Are you ready to go to St. Anne's? Today? If it's too soon, you don't have to, honey. Uh, no. No, I, I, I want to go. I, I have to go. I, I need help. Honey, you won't be doing this alone. We'll be with you every step of the way. Me too. If you'll let me. flowers yeah they came this morning let me read the card uh no the nurse did they're from kevin and joey your brothers love you very much and they wish they could be here for you the nurse also brought these this morning the commitment papers yeah i'm uh 
supposed to sign them, but it's a little tricky with the... Uh... No, Mom. It's all right, darling. I, I, don't, I don't think that you're supposed to. Sweetheart, it's okay. Your father and I are here, and nothing is going to happen. you work on Thanksgiving. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You probably made the world a safer place keeping me out of the kitchen. <laughs> I really, I really appreciate everything you've done for me. All I did was sign off on the plea agreement. You kept me out of prison. I just made it happen. But you do have a lot of people who care about you. What are you doing here? Do you think we'd be anywhere else? Today? I sure do. We wanted to be here. Nora says you can't have visitors for a while. So you're spending your holiday in the loony bin? Hey, don't knock it. We hear they serve great bird. <laughs> <laughs> Nora, did you find out any more information on how long you'll have to stay here? No, no. My office will be in touch with the doctors. They'll be communicating and we'll be apprised of Brody's progress. <sighs> what does that mean? Well, we'll see how he does. And if he gets better, then we'll... Have his case reevaluated. And then what? At this point, I'm not sure. Doesn't help that Vanessa is like Miss Columbia 2008. Hot. Smoking. Oh, right. And you have to wear a bag over your head. Well, you haven't seen her. Oh, I don't need to. Christian likes you, remember? Well, now he feels like he's always hurt. Well, you know, she did get him out of that prison. She paid someone off. It's not like she tunneled under the building or anything. It still was a risk. Not if she got something out of it, too. What did she get out of it? I don't know. A one-way ticket out of Columbia? And now Christian feels like he has to come to her rescue. You think Sarah doesn't want you here? Good morning. What's your breakfast? Um, I'll fix you something in a minute. Why don't you wish Christian happy Thanksgiving? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Lola. Are you making a turkey? No, but Sarah's roommate is. We're going to go to her place. A uh, whole turkey, huh? Sounds like a big job. You guys are invited, too. Can I call Langston? Wish her a happy Thanksgiving? Yeah, sure. Enough that Sarah can't be with you while we're here. Do you think she's going to be happy about us going to her place for Thanksgiving dinner as well? Trust me, Sarah's fine with the idea. Christian is bringing Vanessa to Thanksgiving dinner. Did you know that? Okay. Uh, well, we've got plenty of food. I guess he kind of has to, doesn't he? Okay. So I have to like it. miss him. Okay? I get it. That could be Christian. Well, he better be ready to help me cook. Mom! Hi, sweetie. Can I come in? Look, Sarah knows this is just a temporary situation. We all understand it. Yes, we do. We're going to Christian's girlfriend's. Do you have to? What do you mean? Do you want to come over here and spend the day with us? Let me ask. Vanessa? Langston invited me to Thanksgiving dinner. Can I please go? It's fine with me. I can come. Perfect. We'll come get you. We? Oui? Yeah, me and my boyfriend Marco. You remember him, right? I do. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Mom, this is Layla. Layla? 
My mom. It is so nice to finally meet you. Sarah has told me so much about you. Oh, listen, I, I, I can explain. I really can. I mean, uh, most of it. Okay. So you'll stay for dinner? No, I, I don't. I don't think I can. Oh, come on, Mom. I'm sure you think you'll understand. No, honey, it's not. It's not that. I, uh. I. I came to say goodbye. Oh, look at you. Let's go. Uh, in a minute, darling. Mom, I just want to get this over with. Yeah, I know, but you need to say goodbye to your daughters first. What do you mean, goodbye? I'm going away. For how long? I I'm not sure. I'm going to go check uh, my emails while the pies cool off. So, all that stuff about you staying here and being a mother to me, that was all just talk, right? No, I came here to see if you're okay. And, uh, I mean, you are. Look at you. I mean, you... Oh, honey, you are great. What happened? Why would you say that? Because that's why you always leave. What? Can't someone just be restless? You know, want to try someplace new? W what about Aunt Vicky? Doesn't she want you to stay? I saw Tess do it. When? The day she locked Natalie in the basement. I knew what was going on all along. I want you out of this house, okay? And this time, you don't ever come back. No. Why not? Look, let, let's just say I, I made a... I made a bad decision, okay? And I, I don't want to talk about it. What kind of bad decision? Look, I said I don't want to talk about it. Why? Look, you're going to find out soon enough, all right? And then you're going to be really happy that I left. So, uh, well, what kind of pies did you make? Pumpkin pecan. <laughs> Gee, maybe I can take it with. Mom. What? You're not going anywhere until you tell me what you've done. Hey. Your mom a special little girl? Huh? I missed you so much. But guess what? You know what? You have a brand new baby sister, huh? Isn't that fun? I don't know. How I'm gonna leave you. I don't know how I'm gonna leave you. I'm Dr. Lev. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Okay, well, I think my work here is done. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I think they've got your room almost ready. Are patients allowed to have personal items? Uh, well, that depends on the item. Well, I brought Brody a couple books, uh, some CDs. Yeah, well, uh, why don't you leave him at the desk? I'll show you where it is. Thank you. Oh, actually, I'll come with you, because I have something for Brody, too. Well, this place, not, not too bad, huh? Well, sure beats a prison cell. Wes seems like a good guy. I trust him with my life. I guess that's what it's like in battle. Yeah, well, the guys in your squad, they have to have your back. They have to be willing to die for you. And you're willing to die for them? Yeah, that's part of the job. I wonder if I could do that. Not exactly what you would call brave, actually. I think, I think the word's chicken. I would be proud to serve next to you. You're joking, right? No. Wow, thanks. Thank you. For everything. I just want to see you get better. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, mainly so you and Gigi can tell your son that I'm doing okay. You can tell him yourself. I'd like that. Someday. But don't you worry about me, all right? You don't owe me anything. No. But I owe Shane. One second. 
Remember to thank Langston's family for inviting you. And be sure to help clear the table when dinner's over, okay? I will. Have fun. I will. You want to know what happened? Yes, that's what I said. Okay, uh... David Vickers had puppies. David Vickers is a girl. Yeah! And trust me, I was as surprised as anyone. Oh, you're sweet. Oh, oh. It, it's a boy, I think. You're not going to tell me, are you? Honey, it... That's not important now. What's important is for me to be able to see your beautiful face. Yeah, right. Where are you going to go? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, not Pandora. Uh, not Marilyn and who... <laughs> Certainly not Argentina. What about Kane? Now I have to do this myself. No Kane. No cord. No David Vickers? Well, I'm not going to be that alone. And neither will you. Giving him to me. Yeah. You'd be a better mother to him than I ever was to you. Mom, this is crazy. All those years when I didn't see you, and now you're leaving again? I mean, I really wish I didn't have to. Mom, then don't. Stay. It's Thanksgiving. I can't. Okay, but just take care of the puppy, okay? And know that, I mean, he means well. Even though sometimes he makes mistakes, just, just like someone else you know. I love you, Mom. today. Huh? It's Thanksgiving. And you know what? I am so thankful for you. Mm -hmm. Hi, sweetie. I love you so much. And I am so sorry that the past couple months have, uh, well, they've stunk, haven't they? Huh? And that's because mom has been very sick. But I'm gonna get better, okay? But I... I gotta go away for a little while. And when I come back, I'm gonna be your mommy and we are gonna have so much fun. We're gonna have so much fun. Okay. Shane wanted to see you. I've put him through enough. He shouldn't be here. Well, he insisted. What? I don't know what to say to him. He'll do fine. Hey, Brody. Hey, Shane. This doesn't look like a jail. It's not. And I have your mom and dad to thank for that. 
They wanted me to be in a place where I can get better. You seem better now. I'm getting there, but I, I still have a lot of work to do. That's, that's why I'm here. My mom said that what happened was because of the war. I hoped maybe that you can come home now. Well, this place isn't so bad. They even have checkers. I'm totally gonna waste you. <laughs> Shane likes checkers. I didn't even know that. Are you sure you're okay with this? Yeah. It's out of school. Okay, I guess. Yesterday was a Thanksgiving play. Your mom told me about that. She said you played a turkey. Yeah, all my feathers fell off. Dad, it was so lame. You should have seen it. Mom got a new camera today. She's going to take tons of pictures of the Christmas pageant. They're already planning that? Yeah, I'm going to be a wise man. I got a fake beard and everything. <laughs> wise man, huh? Talk about typecasting. Brody? Are you okay? Brody! Everything all right? Yeah. Yeah, everything's fine. Shane, this is Wes Granger. Wes, this is Shane. It's good to meet you, Shane. Brody told me a lot about you. You're in the same squad in Iraq. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember the day that Brody earned that medal. He saved the lives of three men in our company. Were you there? I'd say so. I was one of them. Cool. Yeah, it was cool. Brody was a great soldier. I knew it. Hey, Shane, um, why don't you go see if your mom wants to play checkers, huh? Okay. You're still there, aren't you? You got that look. I get it too sometimes when I remember. Just remember, I see stuff that it, it seemed real. Makes sense. After all the time we spent wishing it wasn't. I need help. That's what you're here for. What if it doesn't work? What? Look, man. It will. You're always gonna remember what happened, huh? But after a while, it won't be real. I sure as I hope so. Jen, I'm, I'm really sorry to bother you on Thanksgiving. You bother me? What? <laughs> All right. Thanks. Okay. That's good. Hi, Mrs. Montez. Um, you're actually the person I'm here to see. Oh, wait a minute. Are you here on official business? I'm afraid so. Should her lawyer be here? That won't be necessary. Okay. Um, because the charges against her have been dropped. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. They, they, they dropped? That's great. Uh, well, there's more. But I, I, I don't understand. I won't be prosecuting you because the government will be deporting you. He doesn't look old enough to be away from his mother. Yeah, I've been there. I'll show him the ropes. He's so adorable. I know what you should name him. Christian Vega. Why? Is he so cute, I'll forgive him for anything? You're still sad about Vanessa and your mom. I know you liked having her here. You kidding? I've done this dance a million times. She splits, I get upset, and then I get over it. And she comes back and tells me everything's gonna be different and I buy it. And then she splits again. 
At least I got a puppy out of it. He is pretty cute. I just wonder what my mom did this time. Look who I've got. Hey, hey, hey. Look. Baby. I know, baby. it's your little baby sister. You want to see her? Oh. It's a baby. Yeah, it's a baby. <laughs> Give the baby a kiss. Oh. Yes. <laughs> baby. Here we go. Come on, Mama. Here's your baby. <laughs> oh. Hi. Oh. You got her? Uh, yeah, I got her. There you go. Oh. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, my God. I am going to come back to you as soon as I can. You are beautiful. I wish your daddy could have seen you. He would have loved you so much. I don't have all the paperwork yet, but that is the Justice Department's official stance. So, when you get these papers, then... You will be deported back to Colombia, and you will face charges there. Can we fight this? Uh, well, it's not impossible. But it might as well be. Listen, you've got some time on this, all right? I mean, things are going to be on hold while the holidays happen, but I just thought you should know. Thanks, Nora. We appreciate it. Yeah, well, good luck. Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, you know what? That's enough. Get out of here. You said you wanted my help cooking. Uh, no, I do. But, but I want help, but not from you. <clears throat> How about you go and tell Christian his namesake? Yeah, I'm sure he's going to be really excited. Well, how about you tell him about your mom? Thanks. Are you sure you'll be able Oh, no, to... I'll manage. Mm hmm And why don't you pick up some puppy food while you're out? Okay. Any kisses? Mwah. So, Christian Vega, do you like sweet potatoes? You know something? I think she looks a little bit like Kevin. <laughs> well, she definitely looks like a lord. <laughs> I think these girls are going to be just fine. Yeah. But so are you. I have Mrs. Brennan's discharge order. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. We'll, we'll be just a few minutes, okay? I, uh... I thought of a name for her last night. You did? Yeah, I did. What do you think about Chloe? Oh, that's... Well, that passes the Supreme Court test of mine. I never heard about that test. Yeah, you give the child a dignified name in case they become Supreme Court Justice. <laughs> Your Honorable Spike or Bambi, that doesn't quite <laughs> Well, aim high, Chloe Brennan. And don't let anything get in your way. Hi, baby girl. You too. I love you so much. Okay. Okay. Oh, sweet. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, we'll be right back. I love you. 
I love you. cold in here. Man, it was all very nice. I'm sorry I got us kicked out of the motel I am. It's not nice here at all. I'm certainly not as nice as Vicky's. Hmm. Delord. So what do you say, Daddy? Cold in there? Good. I hope you are. Because you deserve it. After everything you did to Vicky. Now, I know. I know I hurt her. I did. But not the way you did. Nobody else could ever hurt her as bad as you did. And you know what? I am not... I am not going to end up sad and lonely like him. No, as God is my witness, I'm going to change. I am going to lead a much, much better life, David Vickers. Johnny, that, I promise you. I guess this is it. We'll be thinking about you, Brody. Thanks. Just focus on getting better. Don't worry about anything else. You got it. Good luck. Thanks again for coming. I love you. Brody! this, Vanessa. Believe me, I am not going to let you get deported. Even if I stay, I'll go to trial. Yeah, but you can't just give up. I thought that Lola and I could have a life here. And you can. To have hope for the first time in years. And then have it taken away. Nothing's been taken away. Are you sure? I mean, it's been a rough morning I for you. I have to take responsibility for something. Okay. Uh, my name's Jessica Brennan, and uh, here are my commitment papers. Hey, lady, you You're a discontented mother and a regimented wife. I've no doubt you dream about the things you never do. But I wish someone had a talk to me like I want to talk to you. Ooh, I've been to Georgia and California. Hey. Just 
One Life to Live. One Life to Live. You're in a mental institution. They want to send us back to Colombia. I only needed the job when I could believe it. Oh! You destroyed me! 